Previously on the bill. You fancy doing a bit of undercover work for us? My brother's in London. Who's that bloke with any anyway? His name's Barry Jones, and I want him checked out, all right? Looks like my brother's just moved up a league. Nurse! Elaine, it's me, Gary. Look at you. You rest. Just leave her. My brother calls himself your boyfriend. I'm gonna kill him for this. Thank you. Miss Ward? G.I. Henry, Metropolitan Police. And you are? Gary. Gary Best. Joe Best, brother? Yeah. Can we have a word? What are you doing here? I just wanted to see if Joe had been in touch. If you were emotionally involved... I was just doing my job. Then go ahead and do it. Get back to the Colton Arms. Stick close to Boswell. Find out what you think's happened last night. And Gary, forget about Elaine. Leave me alone. What have I done? You're Joe's brother, that's what. Lenny's steaming about what happened. Hey, Lenny thinks John murdered his boys. I'd run away if I was you. If Lenny thinks you're covering for Joe, he'll do you in. I wasn't the one who tipped Joe off about the drugs deal in the first place, was I? Please don't say nothing to him. Please. Take this one, nice and heavy. You know, that was a simple plan. Nick, 40 grand. Yet here I am. No money. Three dead friends. You know, one of those guys murdered my preferend or Bobby. No, Lenny. I didn't. My sister is in a right state. Doctors had to knock her out with sleeping pills, right? Everyone's very upset. I'm very upset. You see this? This was his. He nailed that up there after the Harriers won the League Cup. Imagine the knees up in here. Now where's your brother? I don't know. Now come on. He's disappeared off the face of the planet. Now that smacks of a bad conscience to me. And I have to ask myself, why did Gary Best back out of a plan to rip off Andrew Arcos. For 40 grand at the last minute. You know why? I had a puncher, didn't I? Well, you think I'm a map, do ya? What, you think I'd show my face in here if I had anything to do with what happened? He hasn't phoned me. Somebody told your brother what was going on. If you want a piece of him, you can get to the back of the queue. Well, why do you want to get hold of him all of a sudden, then? I've got my reasons. But if he turns up, I will let you know. You've got my word on that. You try and pull one over on me. They'll be burying you next to your brother. Mr. Carver? Sorry, I was just dozed off. Oh, it looks like you've been in here all night. Is she okay? Uh, June Ackland, right? Yeah. In post-op, sleeping off the anaesthetic. The splenectomy went off without a hitch. She ruptured her spleen. The surgical team had to remove it. Is she going to be okay? Well, the spleen isn't critical. There's no reason why June can't go back on the beat. I'm afraid I need the relatives room back. So she's going to be okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad. Now go home. 
get some rest and take a bath. Messy. Who's fault's that? The fact that Gary tipped us off that Boswell's gang were going to ambush Andriakis' drugs deal should have made this a simple operation. If we'd moved fast enough, we'd have them all in custody instead of zipping Boswell's associates into body bags. I had to corroborate Gary's information first. Calling out SO19 at the drop of a hat is not cheap. Which gave Gary's brother the chance to get in there first. Why are you putting Joe Best in the frame? Greed, revenge, take your pick. I mean, either way, he murders Boswell's men in the hope of getting his own hands on the money. You honestly think he is capable of a triple homicide? Look, it doesn't take a genius to work out why Joe's gone AWOL. Boswell's already decided he's behind it. Where would Joe go? Begs his place? No. I sent officers round there already. No trace. Circulate descriptions met wide, plus in all ports alone. We're barking up the wrong tree. Three of Boswell's men were murdered with the same firearm. Joe threatened Boswell two hours before. An empty ammunition box and a couple of cartridges were found in his flat, and his car was picked up on CCTV, leaving a petrol station two miles from the crime scene. Sure, that's prime suspect to me. Same there. Well, what about the original intelligence? This was Andriakis' drug deal. He is part of the equation. Suppose he heard that Boswell's gang was about to take him out and decided to hit them first. Oh, my brother got there first. Yeah, I agree. Joe's our best bet. I want him in custody before MIT even get into first gear. This is our case, not theirs. Well, this is not the press conference I was hoping to have. Joe makes contact, call me. I don't want you handling him on your own. Don't worry about me. And don't let your heart rule your head, especially now. The stakes are too high. You are not responsible for Elaine. I am. Joe thought I was trying to muscle in. And ready? No. <laughs> Who are you trying to convince? Me? Or yourself? She did nothing wrong. Trying to level the score is not going to help. Besides, your brother's not the only one you have to worry about. You said yourself Boswell's match your card already. Oh my grand! Gary! No comment, Brian! That's all you've got to say! You can let me go or what? Watch your lip! No comment, Brian! Gary Best, assaulting a police officer. I don't think he bought it. Just have to risk it. If he tells Lenny you saw you strolling around the station, you'll be compromised. Now nah, go home. Pack. We'll fizz you out quietly. Not until we've got Joe. Your brother's small change. My money's on Andriakis. He beat a murder rat once before, but not this time. But Joe's still a suspect. Who do you think he's going to contact now? Not Lenny, that's for sure. He's going to want advice. And what better than the next cop, huh? Exactly. Going undercover. It's difficult to know where the line is without the uniform. Sometimes you forget what you are. But if you can't be good, be very, very careful. Understand? Loud and clear. So how's the dragon this morning? Is she breathing far or smoking it? I can see the bite marks. <clears throat> well, she can sink her teeth into this little lot. It's a joint truancy initiative with CSU. Lucky me. Right. Do you hear the good news? June's minus her spleen because of me. Excuse me if I don't jump up and down. Tony, you have got to snap out of this. A witness has come forward and says I wasn't looking where I was going. Well, both you and I know that eyewitness statements can be unreliable. Mr. Jakubowski claims that you could see me clearly through the windscreen. Well, it's not a name you have to get in a hurry. Especially if he finishes your career. Yeah, you better have that before it melts. I won't feed the food in here to a dog. Yeah, let me do that. What did you tell him? Nothing, of course. All things rubbish anyway. I mean, well, Joe's not a killer. Well, look, you can't go back to Joe's flat. Forensics have sealed it off. Well, what am I going to do now? Well, you can always stay at mine. I mean, just till things calm down. Whatever. I'll hang about outside till you're discharged. I'm...
Dixie! Dixie, can you hear me? What happened? Help! Help me! Lennon. Dixie, where's Joe? Where's Joe? Where are you? When? I'll be there. Just... Just look after yourself, all right? How's Dexy doing? Mr. Percy's gonna need a priest and a doctor. One down, one to go. He's right, Gary. The safest place for Joe right now is in custody. Serious? <laughs> you got in here, it weighs a son. Can I get some food? I'm starving. Make yourself at home. Ugh. I eat out mainly. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There's a good takeaway around the corner, though. I'm grateful, cow, aren't I? It's my fault you're in this mess. I won't be able to pay your rent. Lenny won't want Joe's ex working at the bar. Well, you're not going to go back to him, are you? Not if you don't want me to. This isn't about me, is it? It's about you and what you want. I want what you want. I'll see you later. Yeah. On the side, the doors open. Are you sure you weren't followed? <laughs> Show me what a man you are, man. <laughs> you don't deserve it, lady. You're scum. <laughs> don't have anyone else. Well, eat up. You'll need energy if you're on the beat. So if I need reminding. Give this to your fed rep. There's a bit of ammo in the traffic investigation. It won't be long before you're back behind the wheel. Jack has got a record. His name kept nagging in my head, so I looked him up on Kremlin. Get in trouble for doing it. He's been arrested and charged three times for handling stolen goods. How does that help me? Well, every time he's made a counterclaim against the police, he's a serial complainer. You're his chance of getting his own back. He's unreliable. And traffic can't take his evidence seriously. June's the only real witness. You're home and dry. Thanks. What am I this for? Me and Dexy were hiding. This car pulls up, yeah? Two blokes get out and disappear behind the big edge, leaving one in the car. I don't know where. It was dark. I thought they were queer or something. Then Bobby's van races up from behind out of nowhere. Phil jumps out the side of the van. And then this bang. And this shattering sound. So who shot who? One of the geezers had come out from behind the edge and shot Bobby and Dan through the front windscreen. The other bloke had Phil lying on the floor, crying for his mum. And he got the gun off his mate. He stuck it in Phil's head. And then... Look, you better not be lying to me. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I just saw it all kick off. So what were you and Dex doing in the car? Crash Lenny's plan. Once they'd make the money, shot the other crew, we'd move in. So this other gang knew that Lenny's boys were coming? Why do you think the gunmen were hiding? They're hardly taking a leak, were they? One of them was short, didn't have much hair, funny accent. 
Andriakos. You know him? Sounds like him and this Barry Jones stitched Lenny up hook, line and sinker. That don't make sense. I heard one of Andriakos's men say that they'd been stitched up. How come? They searched Bobby's van. Only they couldn't find whatever they were looking for. Well, the police still think you're involved. They saw your car at a petrol station. Degsy had to go to the toilet. I should have known he couldn't cut it. Well, then he got hold of him. He's on a life support. You've still got mates on the force. Talk to him, tell him I weren't involved. I need hard evidence. Give me the gun. Forensics will prove you didn't shoot anyone. Get me the deal first. You owe me. How'd you work that out? Christmas Eve, 95, that's all I'm saying. Remember that? Dad on an all day bender. Spent the money for presents. He couldn't stop crying. So? Do you remember how much his bell stung your back? Getting kicked around the house in steel caps? <laughs> nah. Of course you don't. Cos I stood in the way and took it for you, cos you were my little brother. I know. So now I'm asking you. You take the belt for me for once. Tell the cops. I talk. They forget the gun. I can't promise anything. I'll call you. God, that bathroom's so cold, your feet stick to the floor. <laughs> I borrowed a t-shirt. I hope you don't mind. Fine. Fix you. Hey, what are you doing? Stick that in the fridge. I'll have that tomorrow. Did you really like it? Yeah. I thought you were just being nice. I haven't finished the whole lot. I found it been so stuffed. Reggie Lasagna's mum's recipe. She always used to grill the top two. Makes it go all crispy. She must be wondering how you're doing. Don't Gary. Not tonight. I'm having too much fun. It's getting late, isn't it? You've certainly been busy. I collect those. Do you? Paris, Rome, all over. Any sign of Joe yet? No. Do you think he's all right? Like you say, eh? Let's not ruin the evening. What's left of it? Time for bed, huh? Thanks. There's plenty of room. I'm all arms and legs, mate, believe me. Have your T-shirt back, then. I want Joe in custody today. Well, they won't come in. Not until he gets some assurances. Giving us a gun doesn't prove anything. He could have more than one, including the one used in the murders. He gave you a description. Five foot, balding. It's got to be Andriakos. We've been down that path. Ten customers all swear that he was serving in his Bermondsey restaurant. And how many of them are on his payroll? There's no point in wasting custody time tugging him in on non-existent evidence. Wait and see what forensics come up with on the van. What about Barry Jones? Here's a new one on me. Eliminated from inquiries. Here they are. Come to steal our thunder. Hello, MIT will want to speak to you at some point. How come you're not bothered about this Barry Jones? Mm -hmm. He's just a wee cog in a big wheel. Andriokas, Boswell, I want them off the streets. So tell your brother to give himself up. 
Oh, and just remember, you're the messenger. Leave the investigating up to us, okay? Ah, this is D.I. Henry, gentlemen. Is this some kind of joke? No joke, Mr. Andreakos. Hey, Vlaka, where's this man's coffee? I'm sorry, officer, but I, I never met this Mr. Barry Jones you're looking for. I was told that he works for you. Only Sammy here. Well, maybe perhaps I should find somebody else. Sorry, Mr. A. You've never heard the name? If I see him, I'll let you know. And if you see him, maybe let me know, huh? Wait, it's Barry Jones. Who's it worth? More than four quid an hour. I'll make sure Crime Stoppers know your name. It could be a nice little earner if we get a result. The bloke you're looking for, tall brownish hair, yeah? Came in here last week looking for a meet with Andrew Ecos. So this Barry Jones don't work for him? No, Andrew Ecos wasn't around, so I took his number. They met up the next day. Got the boss worked up into a right old state. What, angry? No, excited. Like he won the jackpot. Lots of whispering and backslapping between him and the meatheads playing cards in it. What was going on? <laughs> no, he's not to serve the coffee, mate. Oi, ask your mouth. Serving. Elaine, what's up? Lenny, where? Right, I'm coming, just don't open the door. Get yeah, police as quick as you can. I'm sorry, mate, it's a false alarm. You dragged me all the way over here on some practical joke. Pretend Lenny's booting down your door, that's funny, isn't it? I just wanted to spend some time with you, said so too much to ask you. Crying's not going to help, is it? <laughs> Look, I suppose I could spend an hour for some lunch or something, eh? <laughs> they look expensive. How are you feeling? I was starting to think you were avoiding me. Of course not. Have you spoken to traffic? Yeah, this morning. They're satisfied that I wasn't to blame. God, I never took you for a coward. I owe you one, I know that. I want to hear it from you, Tony. I saw the suspects run across the road. I, I wanted to see which way they went. It was split second stuff, just a second. You admit it was your fault? Why didn't you tell traffic? Well, it was touch and go. I thought I could ruin his career. Why not? He's nearly ruined mine. I should go. Don't you dare walk away. It has been two days since my operation. You haven't come to see me. Now, all right, you're feeling guilty. But I thought we were friends. We are. It's not flowers I need, Tony. It's your support. But I don't know how I can ever make this up to you. You start by getting me a cup of tea. Court and feel the full weight of the criminal yes, justice system. Sir, I've got some more information on this Barry Jones. Um, I thought D.I. Henry had already eliminated him from inquiries. Well, I've done some digging. It turns out he's not just some bit part player. In fact, I think he's at the centre of what's going on. What does D.I. Henry think? Well, I haven't told him yet. Don't you think you should tell him? Well, I just wanted to make sure that you knew what I know. Sometimes things don't get through. D.I. Henry always keeps me informed. I'm not saying he doesn't. So what are you saying? This Barry Jones told Lenny that he worked for Andriarchos. Only George Andriarchos hasn't even heard of him. So who is he working for? You went to see Andriarchos? Well, I got a mobile number for this Barry Jones. My wallet! Who authorised you to approach Andriarchos? Well, sir, something didn't add up. I just wanted to... You may be undercover, but you're not Magnum P.I., do you understand? I'm beginning to think I made a serious mistake with you. I'm sorry. Just do as you're told. Sit tight. Wait for your brother to phone and keep him talking while we get a fix on his hiding place. Are we clear? Yes? Yes, sir. Where is it? Hello to you too. My wallet now. It's a big deal. You treat me like a whore. Figure you may as well pay me like one. Give me the damn wallet!
please. What the hell are you doing in my office? Um, expenses needed signing off. I was going to leave it on your desk. I'll take it now. Whenever. in the club. Well, we still need his statement. Without it, we won't let the charges against Andriakos stick. It's great news, sir, but something doesn't add up about this whole case. Spit it up. Well, actually, I think it's D.I. Henry, sir. He always gives 110%. Only I think he's bent. I'll forget I heard that. Tom Henry is one of the finest officers it's been my privilege to command. Sir, I can't turn a blind eye just because he's one of your friends. you damn right he's a friend of mine. So he may have overlooked a lead. That doesn't make him corrupt. It makes him human. It's small wonder, given the pressure he's been under the last 18 months. I don't understand. Have you met his son? That's right. Andrew Henry. Tom volunteered him for the campaign to ram the message home. The man will do anything to combat crime, so don't tell me what kind of an officer he is. Because I already know. Sir. What's going on? You don't want me here, so... I want to say I'm sorry. I should be apologising to you. Joe's right. We're all the same. Dad. Me. Him. It just boils up. I scare myself sometimes. You've been through a lot. I'm a copper. I'm supposed to protect people. And maybe that's why I joined. The uniform, it, it stops me being like Joe. I thought you got kicked out. They sent me an undercover. Who are you after? Lenny? They wanted me to persuade Joe to grass on Lenny in return for keeping him out of prison. <laughs> Gary Best. A heroic little brother trying to save Joe's backside. Only I'm just as bad as him. You're not like Joe. You're kind. And you stick up for people. You certainly looked out after me. I can't do this. What? Why not? Us. You. You can't go on pinballing between blokes like this. But it's you I want. How do you know? Have you ever stopped to consider what you really want out of life? You're dumping me. I'll still be around. Well, as a friend. Well, maybe that's just what you need right now. What I don't need is somebody telling me how to run my life. Look, don't go. Please, just stay here tonight. You haven't got anywhere else to go. What well, do you care? I care. Believe me, I care. What do you think you're doing? Where is it? Well, if I had a clue what you were talking about. The mobile. Where's it gone? I checked on the PNC. Barry Jones doesn't even exist. You made him up. 
You saw him talking to Lenny Boswell? No, I saw someone pretending to be Barry Jones. I mean, what's the score? Is there another firm supplying you with backhanders to stir up trouble? The only firm I work for, Sonny Jim, is the police. I'm sorry about Andrew, is it? It must be really hard, looking after him and that. I wanted to show the world how drugs can destroy. Like they've destroyed my son. Well, something like that could eat a man up. Make him disillusioned. Twist his point of view. You know nothing. Well, there's something going on here and you're behind it. I would be very careful if I were you. Your brother is still a murder suspect. You start throwing mud around her. One could suppose that you were trying to nobble the investigation on his behalf. Or what, like you've nobbled the DCI? Or is he on it too? It's been good working with you. I'm off the case. The DCI thinks you're a liability. Who am I to disagree? better to do with your weekend? Well, not really, but if you want me to go... No, 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 it's good to have the company. OK, Brill. It's fine by me. Oh, Take. come off it. Ben's not even mine and it's like losing a limb. I gave Gabriel up for adoption. I've moved on. I've closed the book now. But it's back in your life now. Jim, not a day has gone by when I haven't thought about my son. You know, on his birthday, I wanted what he looked like, whether he was working, he had a family, children of his own. Anyway, I'd built up this image in my head that I was quite happy with, and Gabriel is not that man. I don't even like him. He doesn't like me. But all we have in common is our DNA. Fair enough. Anyway, the relief's my family. That's enough for me. <laughs> Got to look after your own. What do you mean? Nothing. Who needs looking after? Tony, you covered for him. Yeah, well, you looked up Jakubowski on the PNC. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have done had I known the truth. Just drop it, Jim. Thought I was supposed to be off the case. You're conducting a relationship with your brother's girlfriend. What did you expect? Yeah. So why call me back? You had a cell site analysis on your brother's mobile. The mast in Willensley Road covers a radius of three miles. So do your job. Go look at the map. <laughs> Cheatham Road rings a bell. But it's down there. Some mate of his, um, Dan Croxley. Never heard of him. Run his name through the PNC, you see what we come up with. There's two cars down there, either end of the street. OK, let's have the mobile. Why? In case your brother calls. Or you contact him. Where's Joe? I haven't seen him. You can't stay here. My grand doesn't like strangers. She doesn't like it. Where's Joe? Just called by some fags. Who knew where he was? He rang me this morning. I would have said it. You're not getting back with him. It's not like that. So what is it like? You'll see. I hope. Joe! What you the... told him! No. Uh, Joe, the police! The it? police have been tracking your mobile. It won't be long before they find you here. How come you know so much? I've been working. Undercover ever since I turned up at the pub to find you. What? But you said... They've been watching Lenny for a while. They thought that maybe I could persuade you to grass on him. And you just wanted to patch things up? I was trying to save your ass. They've already got enough evidence on your drug dealing to stick you away. So now what? You just got to hand me in and collect your promotion on the way? You need to hand yourself in. Only I can't trust me governor. How come? All I know is... We need to bypass him and get you to the guys at MIT. <laughs> How do I know you're not stitching me up? Well, you don't. Trust me. No. 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 Shut no. up. No. 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 What's up? Hello, mate. Talk to me. I am 
nothing to do with Bobby getting shot, I swear. No, this bloke Andriarchos pulled the trigger because the Rosas have paid a visit to my sister. What I want to know is who tipped him the wink that we were going to show. But let's just calm down, eh? No, mate, you're all right. Get over it. Now you're really out of luck, aren't you? Uh, your own brother sold you out. You told him I was it! No! There's no point lying about it now. And as for you, Brian, you have really disappointed me. Just leave him alone! Shut your mouth, you get outside and you can take that broken dead cousin of mine with you. Please, please, Move it! Hurry up! Okay. You shut up! Then you're both dead. Well, quite a result. At the very least, we'll be able to nail Boswell for firearm offences. Thanks to you, miss. Still had his business card. I told him where your brother was. When? About an hour ago. Take Miss Watt's statement, would you? I wanted to do something for you for a change, Gary. I love you. So what can I say? We were against the club. You people from MIT weren't around. Sir, did Lenny Boswell tell you who tipped him off? Well, the guy is squealing for a lawyer from his hospital bed. I doubt we'll get anything from him. Oh, excellent result today. We'll uh, crack a few cans upstairs when you're finished. Let MIT do the legwork. You filed a report, Chef? Sir Trenningham. Stop! Can I have two minutes? Please. How are you doing? You need to ask. I heard you're willing to give evidence against Andriakos for the shooting. They want me to ID him, officially. And what about Lenny? I told him everything. The protection rackets, the drug deals. Well, that'll go in your favour. They're still going to charge me with possession of a firearm. If you show willing, the courts will go easy. Keep your nose clean, you'll be out in no time. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Look, I'll come and see you. Your DI reckons I'm not even safe inside a prison. I'm putting me in a secure unit somewhere. No one's to know where I'm going. I'm a copper. I'll get clearance. You think I want to see you? All I did was try and help you out. And what about Brian? You helped him out, didn't you? They charged him with GBH. The only thing he did wrong was save you from a shooting. Tony shouldn't be driving now. It was an accident. He didn't see me. I mean, all right, I wasn't looking where I was going, but I will not have traffic string him up on a technicality. I mean, this job's his life, you know? I can't take that away from him. It's all any of us have got in the end. Rubbish. Oh, what's on your list of achievements? A broken marriage? Sorry, you didn't deserve that. We all make mistakes. Exactly. So spare a thought for Tony. That's what I love about you. No matter how many times life deals you a bad hand, you just get up and get on with it. Yeah, well, I've got no choice, have I? I'm on my own. I've got nobody else to rely on. Yes, you do. You can rely on me. The officer reckons I'm going to have to give evidence at court. To look after you. I was hoping you would. This isn't going to work, is it? I don't like long goodbyes. How was your holiday? The wife had me decorated. <laughs> Is 
see you. We tried it before. It didn't work. You married somebody else. I took the easy option. Marie was grieving and vulnerable. I thought I could help with her and Ben. Look, I thought I was in control. With you, all I could see was my failings. I don't understand. Being with you made me feel insecure. Oh, great. So now it's my fault. No, no. I mean, look, I didn't have the right tools to get married to you. You make me sound like a car that needs fixing. Maybe I should date a mechanic. Thank you. Tom. Thank you. You're right, Barry. Sorry, you got the wrong bloke. I saw you in the Culleton Arms talking to Lenny Boswell. At least that's what I'll be telling MIT. Listen, the DI said you were cool with it. With what? The bad tip Boswell off about the drugs deal. How did you know about Andreakos's deal in the first place? It was no deal. Henry sent me in to speak to Andreakos as well. Same story, only I was working for Boswell's game. Hey, Pete. Your beer's getting warm. Cheers, guys. You set up a fake drugs deal just so that two gangs would wipe each other out. That's coercion. That is justice. I just let nature take its course and stand by with the body bags. Here, I've been eating this bag. You texted Lenny from my phone. You told him where Joe was. I figured if they went after your brother, I would net a full set. Andriakos and Bozo. You risked my brother's life. And mine. I told you before. It's all down to politics. The public demands safer streets with one breath and then complain about the protection of civil rights with the next. And we are supposed to give the public what they want. Well, without rules, we're just as bad as them. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. You reckon? They call it the dealer who destroyed my son's life. He got five years. He served two, then parole. <laughs> Justice? This isn't some personal crusade. Your son chose to snort that line that landed him in a wheelchair. That was his choice. You keep Andrew out of this. So where does the DCI fit in? So long as the results keep rolling in, he's happy. Or turns a blind eye. Too busy being a celebrity than a copper. He's only telling the world what they want to hear. The sad thing is, he's beginning to believe the hype himself. He was a good officer. So were you, I expect. <laughs> Perverting the course of justice. Assisting an offender. Serious charges. They could cast a long shadow over an otherwise shining appraisal that recommends you for a role in CID. If you still want it. I'll take your appraisal. The quicker I move up the ladder, the quicker I can force blokes like you out of the service. Like you said, fight fire with fire. Why do you keep raking over old ground? It didn't work. Because I couldn't trust you. What do you mean by that? Because I couldn't trust then. It wasn't in me. I, I was setting myself up for a fall. But I trusted you. Only you got engaged to somebody else while I was away. You said you needed time to think. Now, people only do that when they want to soften the blow. Well, I guess you don't know me very well then. Seeing you rushed into theatre. Suddenly made sense. Life without you is no life at all. That's very poetic, but it's a bit too late. Things are different now, June. And if you reject me, then fair enough. But I want you to know that I love you. I love you very, very much.
What's going on? I was just leaving. Next time on The Bill. Congratulations. Sir. You're the new face of Sunhill. It was dark. I was terrified. Don't think I'm scared of you, Kerry, because I'm not. You're like a fly buzzing around me, waiting to be swatted away. Sarge. Kat's on the phone. There's been another rape. 